Coulter Cook was driving drunk through Tanawan July of 2015 when he hit Bart Rutledge. Rutledge was on his bike just down the road from his house. Police say he was dragged 100 feet before Cook finally stopped. At the sentencing, we saw how devastating the last year and a half has been for the Rutledge family. Yeah, we're sentenced to a life sentence with the most, without the most amazing person anyone could ever know. The defendant will get to someday watch his kids get married, watch grandkids being born, have a 25th wedding anniversary. My husband doesn't, I don't, my girls don't. Cook pleaded guilty to DWI vehicular homicide this summer. He also spoke in court. To say that I am sorry for what I have done, would not even begin to describe how terrible I feel. Every day is a constant reminder of the pain and suffering that my irresponsible and reckless behavior has caused. Judge Brett Loveless called this sentencing one of the most difficult for him. Someone was killed. It was avoidable. But he also pointed out that Cook has no prior criminal record and showed remorse. And again, because of the way our state law is written, the max sentence in this case was six years. He gave Cook four and a half years in prison. The state of New Mexico just keeps allowing this to happen and happen, and I don't know when we're going to stop it, and they just don't seem to want to.